Hello and welcome. The purpose of this lesson is to help you set up your standards-based grading gradebook in Schoology. First thing you want to do is to go to your gradebook. Once you click on gradebook, a subcategory, Grade Setup, will appear. Click on that. Over here on the right are our scales. Right now we only have a numeric, which we don't want since we are standards-based. So we'll go to Add, and we'll add a scale. We'll call this APSOL SBG for APS Online Standards-Based Grading. That's typically what we've called it in the past. Now what we need to do is we need to set some letter grades. And those will be our proficiency standards. So our first one, we'll type ADV, standing for Advanced. You just have to be careful when you're assigning grades that you don't just type A, that you type ADV. If you type A, the student will receive a zero. Let's go ahead and add another level, and we'll type P for proficient. We'll add another level and type PP for partially proficient. And then one more level we'll use for our U, unsats. Now we need to define a range. What we have done in the past and what we've agreed to is to call this 93 to 100 for our first advanced range. Our proficient will go from 83 to 100, or sorry, to 93. And then our partially proficient will go from 60, as you can see, to 83. And then unsat, type in a zero. Now we need to have a letter conversion percent here. You can manually type these in as a number in between, or I like to just click on use average. So when a student receives an advance, they will automatically receive a 96 unless you type something in different. The last thing we need to do here is check this box, only show letter grade, so that the student only sees this standards-based grading scale and not the percents. Now you're ready to save changes. And you can see that we new, have a new scale, our APSOL standards-based grading. The next thing we need to do is we need to adjust our weights. We are in quarter one, so we want 100% of our grade to be in quarter one. So we need to adjust all the other quarters down to zero, since we're only in quarter one. Down here at the bottom, we have a scale. It's automatically defaulted to numeric. Click this down arrow and change it to our new scale, APSOL SBG. And now we are pretty well set up. The final thing you will need to do, and this will vary depending on what subject you teach, is you need to add some categories. I have added three categories. These categories are going to be your standards that you are teaching to and that you will also put in Infinite Campus. So I have added a standards for math practice number two, and it doesn't say formative or summative because I'm going to be using this to assess pre-knowledge. And then I have some algebra standards, creating equations, and I have both a formative and a summative. So for each standard, you will typically have a formative as well as a summative. In order to add categories, you just click on the plus add, type the name of your category in here, and then before you hit create, you'll need to adjust our total points here to percent. All right, that is setting up your gradebook. We're going to end this now by showing you how to assign your quizzes, your tests, your assessments to the standards-based grading scale. So I'm going to save my changes on this page. I'm going to now go into an assignment. So in quarter one, unit one, week two, I'll go into this first assignment. So I will do that by editing it, and then at the bottom of the assignment, you will notice that we have our category here. Right now it says ungraded, so I need to assign it one of my categories. I'm going to assign this to my standards for math practice number two. Notice it says numeric. We need to change that to our new standards-based grading scale that we just set up. And then under grading options, verify that it says quarter one. 
Mine does not say quarter one, so I click the down arrow and assign it to quarter one. If you put in your assignments prior to your class being set up on the quarter system, yours probably will have to be adjusted as well. Now, notice I'm pretty much done except for my due date. My due dates are grayed out because I use the check mark system, meaning that when I set my folder up, I set up certain rules that my students have to follow. If that's the case, the easiest way to set gradebooks is to go back into your gradebook and do a bulk edit. In order to do a bulk edit from my gradebook, I just need to click on this down arrow and go to bulk edit. Once in here, I can see the assignment and I can see that I assigned it here to quarter one. So I just need to type in a due date. I went ahead and typed in a due date and a time because I want it to be turned in before the next day. However, you can leave the times off and that would work as well. After this, when I'm finished, I just need to make sure that I save my changes and then I'm all finished. I've set up my gradebook in Schoology and I'm ready to now set up my Infinite Campus gradebook.